Okay, boys and girls, today we're going to do day two of plural nouns. Da -da -da -da. First, let's review. A noun names only one person, place, or thing is a singular noun. That's like a single person. It is singular. There is only one. A singular noun has only one person, place, or thing. The player threw the ball. There are two singular nouns in that sentence. The first singular noun is player. There's only one player. The second singular noun is ball. He only has one ball. However, when there is more than one person, place, or thing named by a noun, that is considered a plural noun because there's more than one. Both teams wore green caps. So you can see teams is more than one team, and caps is more than one caps. Caps means baseball hats. Today we're going to talk about plural nouns that end in S. You add S to most nouns to form the plural. So for example, if I had these singular nouns, team, cap, and bat, I would take I would add an S to them, so it would become teams caps, and bats. What is the plural form of this underlined noun? Sam hit a long home run. Hmm. So run is the singular noun, so I need to change it to become plural. Hmm. Do I add an S to form the plural? I certainly do. Runs is the plural of run. So, for example, a sentence would be the home team scored 12 runs. For your practice questions, you are going to write the plural form of the underlined noun. You're going to have to type it in. So whichever one is underlined, you're going to type in the plural form of the noun. But first, before you start on your homework, I have got a little joke for you. And I have a question for you. Why did the boxer put a banana in his glove? So he could make fruit punch. Ha 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 ha. Oh, I crack myself up. Do your homework and we'll see you tomorrow.